Alright, well, g'day and welcome back. If you were with us last time, we were checking out the cosmetic outfits and we just headed back home to have a look at those. But what I've done really quickly is I've decided that I wanted to go and get the last recipe ticked off. And I believe, I just had an idea when I got back home previously, that there may have been a spot that I missed when I was exploring up north around Blackmire. So what we've decided to do is just head up here really quickly and try and get this last mission ticked off so that we can then go back and uh, do a bit of a amalgamation and a bit of a, an overall look at all of the things that have uh, actually changed in the update and then we can actually wrap up this series on the updates. What was above Snapdraw tar pits? Uh-huh. So there's one section that we didn't take a look at last time and I believe now that we might have actually found where the last little recipe is. There we go, Riverwood. A miserable jump. All right, and that's all the recipes complete. All right, so now that we've finished all the missions and got all the music pages and done everything that is included with the new update, we can get back home and check out all the new music pages and all of the new items that are available for us as well. So for the first of the changes that we're going to take a look at now, we're going to head on over and check out a couple of things that have changed in terms of crafting. So we'll see now with Cade Hawthorne the Carpenter, since we've been up north now, we now have the trampolines that are available to craft, which is pretty cool. So I think we'll craft a couple of those at some stage and uh, chuck a couple around the base. It could be pretty interesting just to uh, get some medium jump and large jump. It is going to cost a little bit of leather though, so uh, just keep that in mind. And the other thing that's also changed now is under the decorative, we now have uh, VUCA statues and shrines that are available. So those are pretty cool as well and those are pretty cheap. They're only made with stone, so... We'll be able to make a heap of those. Uh, you'll recognise the shrine there, for example, when we were up at the uh, Vuka tree previously. So those are a new item as well. And you may be able to sort of mix and match those with some of the tombstones that are here as well, which is pretty cool. Now, as we were discussing earlier as well, uh, all we had to do now is check in with uh, Valori and we saw that we now had some instruments that were here and all the rest of it but what we did get for her is the couple of things here we got the cosmetic outfits which is one thing and we also got the new instruments and we haven't had a look at those as yet so what we'll do is Now you can see now on the right hand side, all of those musical uh, sheets that we got previously in our journeys, those are now ones that we can use.
and all you gotta do is just go over to them and confirm them and just use your left trigger So that's pretty cool, something a bit interesting. And as as it said before as well, uh, you actually don't need these on you, so I, I don't actually need these things on me to view them. Now another thing that we actually got when we were out and about as well was the Eternal Frost Arrow. Eternal Ice Arrows do not deplete. Equip the Eternal Arrow and use stamina to shoot it with the bow. So this is something that is not craftable but it's something that you can actually equip. So if we take a look here and we go to Eternal Frost Arrow, you'll see there, it's endless. It's got the infinity symbol next to it. So if we have a look at them, it still says they are there. Now, another one of the things I wanted to, I guess, just give a little bit of a, a demonstration of as well is, I believe there are 19 of these. I've found quite a few so far, um, all at different levels and all at different uh, levels of sort of legendary rare, all the rest of it as well. Now those um, weapons are actually pretty cool. I may actually take a look at uh, putting together a build at some stage of these because I, I like the way they, uh, I like the attack, the attack looks very cool. Um, they're not sort of magnificent in terms of the amount of damage that they do, but, you know, I think they're, you know, they're something different, you know, which is, which is quite interesting. And another thing I wanted to point out, which was pointed out to me by one of my good viewers, Acoustic Motors 5455. He's mentioned to me that what you can do is when you go into your character settings, you can just hit Y and you'll see there we've got effective gear and then what the cosmetic is. So you'll see now I've currently got the Explorer outfit on, but what I can do from here is, let's say, and we'll swap this over just to give you a view of what each of these two outfits looks like. So I'll switch over to the Royal to start with. So that's the Royal outfit. It's pretty cool. And so what this does is you can have the cosmetic outfit on but still have the effect of the gear that you had on previously. Which is pretty cool. So we'll check out the Noble. And previously I was not sure whether this was, you know, something that was a glitch or not. And uh, I hadn't really sort of taken the time to have a look at it because I didn't... Uh, I was too busy kind of going through a heck of a lot of other stuff, so... Uh, so there we go, there's the... Noble outfit. So, I don't mind either of those two, they're pretty cool, but I think... For me, and for what I like, the Explorer... Just in terms of the aesthetic, looks pretty cool. So I think we'll leave that in place for me. Right, and the last of the things for us to cover is, you'll see here, we now have the brick timbered block. So what we need is fired brick blocks to actually craft that and wood logs. So that's going to be a little bit interesting because you need to uh, make about 10 fired bricks per uh, 100 block of fired brick blocks. So that could be expensive, but it's a really good looking block. We'll take a look at that in a moment. And the other two things we now have is the plaited block, which just requires twigs, which is really cheap. And also the Vuka temple stones. So in one of my videos upcoming uh, with regards to my build, I'm actually going to be using the Vuka temple stones, that middle one there, as the path for my residence which I'm pretty much in the space of right now if you want to actually check out the rest of the build series I'll put a link for you on the top right hand side of your screen it's a fantastic build if you've caught any of these videos at all this build here is massive I probably spent 
I don't know, maybe 300 hours on it, so it's quite hectic. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see there, there's the brick timbered block. Uh, there is the Buka Temple. And that last one, there's the plated block. So those are all pretty good looking blocks. And the last thing I wanted to mention as well, uh, I mentioned previously that we were having a bit of a visual glitch. And I think it's just got something to do with uh, the progression thing. Because what's happened is I had uh, entered the Queen's Tomb as a quest. And I've actually done it on both of my playthroughs, this one and my uh, walkthrough playthrough, which is a separate one. So it's done on both, but for some reason it wasn't showing up as completed. So I don't know why that was the case, but as soon as I went and just did that when I was offline just then, uh, what that's actually done is it's actually activated a whole host of other ones that are just the tools. Um, so like, you know, the table saw, the mortar, all the rest of it. And they're all actually have been complete. So I don't know why that's happened. It's a bit of a visual glitch, but, uh, you know, all I need to do is just activate personal progression and uh, then we can just go and do them again, which I'll do offline. All right, well, that is the last and uh, very not the least of this series for this update. It's been a lot of videos, I know, but there was a hell of a lot of stuff that actually occurred and a hell of a lot of new tools, hell of a lot of new equipment, and uh, it was a really, really good update. I'm very, very pleased with it. I really do thank you for watching the series on this, and as I mentioned before, if you haven't seen my series of uh, build videos, please go and check it out because there is some fantastic content there as well. All right, well, once again, thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.